My mother may not be a queen, but my father's king of everything. I'm adopted into the family, so I guess that makes me royalty, cause I'm living in authority. Good morning and welcome to your spiritual sports segment on Rima. <laughs> Gospel Radio, better than when you heard it the last time you heard it. I'm CJ. Let go! After an awesome All-Star weekend, the National Basketball Association was back in action with nine jam-packed games. As the San Antonio Spurs barely got past the Sacramento Kings 108-102 to with Tony Parker's double-double of 30 basket-filling points and 11 assists. The Phoenix Suns edged out the Portland Trailblazers 102-98 to with 18 points from Louis Scola. The Toronto Raptors got the best of the Washington Wizards 96-88 to as Rudy Gay and DeMar DeRozan each poured in 24 points. The Charlotte the Bobcats notched a 105 to 92 win over my home city Orlando Magic as Kimba Walker and Gerald Henderson also poured in 24 points. The Brooklyn Nets needed OT to get past the Milwaukee Bucks 113 to 111 as Joe Johnson nailed a buzzer beat jumper to seal the deal. While the Memphis Grizzlies knocked off the Detroit Pistons 105 to 91 with Mike Conley's 19 points. The Chicago Bulls used Luau Dang's 20 points to cruise past the New Orleans Hornets 96 to 87. The Denver Nuggets outlasted the Boston Celtics 97 to 90 with Ty Lawson and Danilo Garanai both acquiring 26 points and the Golden State Warriors were blasted by the Utah Jazz 115 to 101 with 24 points from Al Jefferson. Men's college basketball was bowling last night with six ranked games on the docket as top ranked Indiana holds on to get the 72 to 68 win over fourth ranked Michigan State with 19 points from Victor Oladipo. Don't stop, let's get heated. The Miami Hurricanes are undefeated in the ACC as they survive yet again a tough challenge from Virginia with a 54 to 50 win with Reggie Johnson's tie breaking layup with 5.7 seconds left in the game. Fifth ranked Florida was upset by unranked Missouri 63-60 as the Tigers wiped away a 13-point deficit while Butler manhandled Duquesne 68-49 with 16 points from Rodney Clark. 17th ranked Marquette whipped, walloped, and whacked. <laughs> Alliteration, I love it. Seton Hall 67-46 as Vander Blue blew up for 19 points and 24th ranked VCU was upset by unranked St. Louis 76-62 as Jordaire Jet jetted off the bench to net 16 points. For your first segment, quick news and notes, a light heavyweight matchup between contenders Glover Teixeira and Ryan Bader has been agreed to for UFC 160 on May 25th. Floyd Mayweather would defend his welterweight world title against interim titleist Robert Guerrero at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas on May 4th, and he also announced that he is leaving HBO Time Warner, his television home for virtually his entire career, to move to rival Showtime CBS for the pay-per-view fight. Unbeaten lightweight Mickey Bay Jr., who knocked out Robert Rodriguez in a nationally televised bout earlier this month, has tested positive for elevated levels of testosterone. The University of Miami received his notice of allegations from the NCAA, and the school was accused of a lack of institutional control within its athletic department. And finally, Middle Tennessee football players Jared Singletary, Marcus Henry, and Adam Stickle are facing charges of being arrested following a nightclub fight. Do you need a new TV? What about an overnight stay at the Crown Plaza Hotel or just some cold hard cash? If so, make sure you purchase your tickets to Rima Words Broadcasting's 6th Annual Ministry Gala for your share of five dollars to $10,000 in cash and prizes. Go to RimaWordTV.info for your tickets and more information. Stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because God did not bless you with the spirit of fear. So in 2013, live your dream. <laughs>